What's up, gang? Got to do a little bit of quick maintenance here on the uh, Sovereign. That's going to be getting the quick way loader. Exhaust manifold gaskets are blown, so we're going to throw a couple of new ones in. Actually, pretty simple. You got two bolts on each header flange. And let's see, do we have another mount? I think we do. Right here is a tab, but there's no bolt in there. So, be able to pop that off and then we'll find a bolt and stick a bolt in that hole let's get her and we're just popping bolts off right now get those four bolts out oh this one's actually pulling the stud out instead of just loosening the bolt so I'll show you guys how to fix that let me show you here you can see it just pulled the stud right out of the head, which is no problem. We'll just double nut here, tighten this down real good, and stick her back in so that that locks down. And we'll do that with the muffler off so we've got a little bit more room to finagle. Dissimilar metals typically grab pretty good uh, you know talking about aluminum steel bolt going into aluminum is this one doing the same thing yeah this one second one's doing the same thing I'm gonna fast forward till I get it off and then we'll take a look at things no oh, I knew it was noisy for a reason This is the side that was blown out right over here, and we can see why. There was no nut right here. So here are the old gaskets. I'll pop that sucker off. And the old gasket for this one, did it fall? Because I don't see it. Is it there? Yeah, it's there. Hang on, I gotta pry it up off of there. I think no no gasket there was no gasket on there at all nope nope here it is I lie it did fall all right let's take a look at these two okay you can see this one was semi sealed because it's still kind of shiny this one black all around it just because it was leaking I should have done it before with this thing running because it was noisy but out with the old and in with the new but first we've got to fix those studs and we also have to fix threads on this hole right here because the bolt that came out of that one is pretty ugly it's uh Got a lot of galling, a lot of aluminum buildup in the threads. So we may have to go up a size here. And I'll have to see if I've got a stud that I can use. Um, if not, we can just use a uh, grade 5 or grade 8 bolt to attach and just forego the... Uh, nut and bolt if we can't get this cleaned up enough and chase those threads well enough so we'll see all right what we're going to use on that screwed up bolt right there are thread chasers that's what we're going to do see if we can get those cleaned up i've got my brass jaws in here <clears throat> excuse me so that we won't mess up the uh, existing threads on the other two bolts and then on this one we're going to see if we can just take the impact and zip that nut off of there get this side of the bolt cleaned up 
as well. So hang on. First things first, get that little impact off of there. There we go. All right. Let's see what those threads look like. Yeah, those threads are pretty weak on there as well. So we'll chase them. We'll chase both sides. See if we can get this cleaned up enough to reuse. And then we'll also get a uh, thread chaser for the hole in the block and see if we can't clean that up as well. So I'm going to do a little bit of work here. These are really simple. It's just like threading on a nut onto a bolt. And you just keep going, run it all the way down, bring it all the way back up. They've got these in metric and in standards. Uh, this particular set is made by... Let's see here. Well, made in USA. That, that part I know. I guess that's good enough, huh? Do we have a part number? Oh, there it is. It's inside. It's kind of hard to read. I'll show you card off of there. Made by Jaw Manufacturing, Reading PA. And I do not know if uh, they still if that company is still in business or not, but I'll tell you, I certainly am glad to have the re-threaders. Alright, we're working on tapping out the last hole and I've got a spiral tap and it's kind of like a drill bit. When you use a drill it pulls the chip up out of the way as it cuts. Well, this does the exact same thing. And then I'm also using a neat little uh, invention by Lyle, L-Y-S-L-E. And it is a tap holder. And I have a full set. Um, and they're 3 8 and half inch drive. And so, see the hole in it. There's a little rubber O-ring and then it's square down inside there. You just slide that sucker on. Put your favorite wrench on there and spin away so like I say this is the last one and I don't know if you can see let me show you real quick you see down here the chips this is a type of tap that you do not have to uh, back off to break the chip because it cuts the chip and forces it out and this is also a bottoming tap so the difference between a bottoming tap and a standard tap, uh, there, I think there's three main types. I don't remember what the intermediate one is, but uh, the bottoming tap is just what it sounds like. It is for getting all the way to the bottom of a hole and getting threads as close to the bottom of the hole as you can. <coughs> Excuse me. Which is what I want to do here is get as close to the bottom as I can. Now before I get it all the way out, I'm just going to lightly blow those chips out of, out of harm's way here. Just a tiny little bit of air. There we go. Then we'll blow the hole itself out once we get this out. And yes, both exhaust valves are closed. Okay. Clean that out. And it seemed like each of the three holes did take the uh, tap pretty good. So I don't have too much hesitation in going ahead and sticking the studs back in. I did have to remake one stud and I just used a piece of grade 5 all thread. But you can see, threads look nice and clean and sharp and shiny. And I'll show you the bolts. The reason I had to make one was uh, the one that was still in the block. Well, when I did get it out, that's what the nut did. Was it galled up? And there's no cleaning that up because you can see it's a narrower. So it just totally ate the threads. And this is the side here that went in the block. So to replace it. Is just a piece of grade five all thread and here are two more and here's the last one so here's all four and you just double nut 
and tighten them down in there. I'll get three of them in and I'll show you on the last one. All right, we're on the last stud. What you do is just put two nuts on, <clears throat> just like that, and tighten them down together. And then that gives you, essentially, a makeshift bolt so that you can drive these studs in. And once you get them in, you can then loosen those two, the two jam nuts, or the nuts that you're using as jam nuts. Like so. Just get it open end and a boxed end. Break that bond loose between the two of them. Take that one off. And then take the other one off. And then your studs are, <coughs> excuse me, installed. Yeehaw. Then our gaskets. Brand new shiny sparkly gaskets. And now we'll get the muffler and I'll reposition you guys. We'll get the muffler, get it attached. But before we do that over here, we need to chase those threads and make sure that they're free and clear and in good enough shape to hold a bolt. Let's take a quick look at taps since we're tapping a bunch of holes and whatnot. These are chase thread or thread chasers okay or re-threaders and they're all different kinds here's one that's just fluted it's got four flutes in it and this is the type you'll turn it in back it off turn it in back it off pull it out blow it off and weather rinse repeat with cutting oil with tool oil um then we have the steep taper type, that's obviously for a through hole, right? So you get those in, and these have one, two, three, four, five, six flutes, and they're wide flutes, so they'll hold a lot of junk. Um, and these actually can be impact driven down. And then we come to these, and these have three flutes, pretty, pretty good sized flutes, they're shallow. Uh, if you need more depth, that's when you go to one like that. But anyway, there's some re-threaders. Um, go over those just a second. Here's some metric, straight, and uh, spiral. Here's a standard spiral, and it figures I do not have the one that I need for that hole on the uh, mounting tab for the muffler. But... You see they come in all different shapes and sizes. And these were most generally run uh, on assembly lines with the machines. And they would go in, tap, all the way to the bottom. As you can see, they are bottoming taps. And then just spin right back out. And then a quick little puff of air and you're off and running to the races. Instead of having to run it in, back it off, run it in, back it off, run it in, back it off. And then sometimes you have deep reach where your hole is really really deep into something that's where these extended taps come in handy and most of those you'll find are the intermediate or the bottoming tap i do not remember i, I mentioned earlier where you know, you've got your starting tap which has a real real steep taper okay and the full threads don't come in until you're down a good Five eighths of an inch. Then you come over here, and you've got the intermediate. Like I say, I don't remember what this what this intermediate's called, but it's between a bottoming and a starting tap. This can be used to start holes, um, but you're better off using a starting tap like that. And then, of course, you have your bottoming tap, which has threads that go pretty near the very bottom. excuse me, the very end of the tap. So, and then we step on over to um, flutes. But right here, this one inch national pipe tap, we have five flutes. Same thing with our, I think it's an inch and an eighth or inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter. Okay, 11 and a half 
threads per inch national pipe five five flutes four flutes three flutes and two flutes now there are tools you know every everyone's worst nightmares when a tap snaps off in a hole that you're tapping uh, there are tools to extract them uh, in two three four and five configurations that go into the slots and help you get your tap out but if you don't have those you're hurting to get the rest of that tap out but you can see this is a two flute starting tap okay right here this is a four flute starting tap so they come in all different shapes, sizes, and varieties. All different shapes, sizes, and varieties. And here are those Lyle tap holders. I say they go up pretty large. Of course, not as large as that, but they go pretty large. Um, and if there's a hole with threads in it, there's a tap for it. If it is a specific even like with my carburetors on the Briggs, they are specific and very, very hard to find. It, I got lucky and did find a set, but um, you know, having a good arsenal of thread cleaning and tapping apparatus, as well as the corresponding drills that go along with them, especially when we're working on what we're working on, these uh, drill and tap indexes are just worth their weight in gold. Absolutely worth their weight in gold. So, if you come across taps, doesn't matter how crappy they are, hang on to them. You never know when you're going to need even just a generic tap. And you can use, uh, you know, you can use a regular tap to clean thread. If it's not designed for it, it can possibly damage the threads but you have a better shot of cleaning the threads out as long as you go in a bit bring it out blow it out and just lather rinse repeat uh, then you will just trying to shove a bolt into the hole and pray that it grabs and holds uh, rummage sales are fantastic estate sales fantastic places to get a hold of uh, things like this that's what I highly recommend. Uh, you know, estate sales, rummages, flea markets, you name it. Those are the places to go. Now let's get back over here to the Sovereign and finish up our little task. All right, thanks for putting up with me on the tap thing. Now we're going to stick a muffler on. Have a little bit of junk in. I don't know if we can get any of it out or not. I'm not overly concerned about it. We'll get those out in place. I'm just going to set that bracket bolt in just to hold things kind of still. And I did chase that tap, so or the the hole. Now we have. Is that going to be too big? Yeah, I think it'll just work. A little tough to get into some of these spaces. I was probably looking at the top of my head, aren't you? Let's see here. Can I go this route? That might work. Yep, that worked. These flange head nuts certainly do come in handy when you're trying to get into real tight spaces like that. Because they'll sit they'll sit proud on the socket. So they won't drop down. Handy. Alright, if you on whoops. Alright, we'll just throw you away and we'll Come back to this one, put you on, and then grab a magnet. I'm always grabbing a magnet because I got fumble fingers. Put 
about to change my most invaluable tool, the retrieval magnet. <laughs> All right, let's get that one in. In the socket, I don't have as much room to move over here, and I dropped it again. Fun, fun, isn't it? All right. Let's get. Let's see if we can get back in there and get that started. You know what? Come on. Cooperate. I'm not holding my tongue right. It's a real tight space there. Let's see if I can't just do it with my fingers. Yeah, there we go. That was easy enough. Put both hands in it if one doesn't work, right? And tighten these down kind of evenly, just spread the load. I do not know the torque spec. Uh, and I don't know if my chart has it or not, but we'll do the good old YouTube torque wrench. I'll let you know when I get there. You guys will know it. In fact, you probably already do. You're already writing in the comments. Yep. We know. So, what other channels you guys watch? I'm kind of curious. Um, we've got our group of small engine people, and we all hang together pretty tightly. Uh, I've kind of been missing in action for a while. Uh, I've been working on some um, some of my own issues and so that's kept me kind of quiet and i apologize for that that happens every once in a while life you know how life happens okay now we've got them all snugged up now it's time to get the torque wrench out i got the torque wrench the youtube torque wrench we ready click ha ha And click two more to go. No, 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 thank you. Yeah, I suppose I could pull that out, give myself a little bit more room, huh? Well, that helped a lot. And click, and come over here, and put that back in. So, um, you guys haven't seen me on the live streams with uh, mix mowers and uh, BS small engines, just a lot of people. Uh, and they have asked me, uh, my buddy Boo Laquette. Um, I've just, I'm not in, I'm not in a frame of mind right now to be on the live stream. I'll get there. I'll get back there. I will. I promise. But for right now, you guys are just going to have to make do with the videos that come out. So I just tap the wrong hole, or did I get the wrong bolt? <laughs> I got the wrong size bolt. Okay. Fail. I got the wrong size bolt. I got a 7 16 and I need a half inch. Hang on. Suppose I can be down here. Okay. Right up here. You can see the shiny. That's what the half inch bolt is for. But I think this one's even too long. We shall see directly. I'm putting the washer and the lock washer on there get her up in there see if we can get her started come 
come on, come on, come on. I'm not holding my tongue right or something. Well, you get the idea. That bolt has to go in that hole up there, and then we'll do a start. Hang on. Figures, as soon as I shut the camera off, it just threaded right in. So we've got that bolt in, right there. All nice and pretty, shiny grade eight. And we are now ready to start it and see how quiet it is. If you want to know how noisy it is, I believe I've started it on uh, other videos. So, get everything set down here out of the way. Air hose will be fine. All right, all the tools off. All right. Might need a little bit of choke, it's been sitting a while. A little bit of throttle, hit the key. Much quieter. Now all the air is just coming right through the muffler. Now we have this pipe to reattach right here because it decided to fall off on me. Ouch! I just kneeled. I just put my knee square on those taps. <laughs> the little ones. <laughs> Ow! Be able to put screws in my knees now. All right, down and up. That's cutting it kind of close. We may have to direct it this way just so that we can. May have to. No, that's where the uh, that's where the pump and everything goes. So this can't go there. Let me look at the hood and see where the, if there's a hole in the side of the hood. No hole in the side of the hood. Okay. Um, we'll figure it. But that isn't going to work. At least not with the uh, hydro pump there. We don't want to direct that much heat down to it. But of course we do need to do something to redirect the heat. So we may end up going I have no I have no clue. We'll figure it. We'll figure it. For right now, that's a job done. Retap the holes. Had to make one extra one new stud out of a grade five piece of all thread. Everything's bolted in. That bolt was non-existent on the bracket. We've got that in there now. So we're in good shape. We're in good shape. All right, that's it. That wraps it up. Sean, there's another video of your sovereign for you. And it is actually Sunday. I typically do not work the weekends on projects, but last week was just so hectic that uh, I had precious little time to work on Sean's uh, equipment here so and I've got to get cracking on it August is just a very very busy month uh, got the King Midget Jamboree coming up next week starting Thursday morning it'll be uh, actually not taking my King Midget I'm going because I'm a member and because I already paid for the trip, <laughs> I haven't had time to even work on my own stuff. I haven't had time to get my King Midget ready to go. Uh, so as a result, uh, Ruby and I are just going to drive out and I'm going to take Big Bill with me, I think. If not Big Bill, then we'll take Garfield uh, in the back of the truck. Plus, uh, I didn't want to drag my King Midget out there on the trailer just yet i'm being overly cautious in breaking in ruby since it's going to be the forever truck i want that engine to last so i don't want to put it under a lot of strain just yet um, but that rounds it out friendly neighborhood zip i promise you guys i will see you when i see you later
I'm out of here.